When the Miami Dolphins selected Hunter Long out of Boston College with the 81st overall pick in the 2021 draft, it's reasonable to speculate that they hoped to have him record more than one reception for eight yards in his first two NFL seasons. However, with Mike Gesicki and Durham Smythe above him on the depth chart and a few injuries, Long hasn't exactly provided the type of production that one would hope for. Tight ends coach John Embry even went as far as to question his commitment to the game at points in 2022. Entering 2023, the Gesicki is a free agent, once again, and, this time, it doesn't feel like a franchise tag or long-term deal is coming. Smythe could also be a cap casualty, as his release would save Miami $3.49 million and incur just $750,000 in dead cap. With that said, does Long believe he's earned more snaps and better opportunities going forward? I hope I have, Long told Barry Jackson of the Miami Herald. I took my shots when I got them this year. Regardless of the outcome. I am going to come into next year and attack it and make it the best year of the three I've had, I'm ready for this offseason. This will be a great offseason and I'll come back really ready to attack next year. In his two seasons, Long has played just 183 offensive snaps and 60 on special teams. He's not doing much of anything, but he's ready to help wherever he can. I'm a team guy first so I'm going to do whatever they tell me to do and do it to best of my ability, he said. I'll leave it at that. Whatever they give me to do, I'll give 100%. Hopefully next year some stuff opens up. It can be seen that he is very confident in himself, he wants Mike McDaniel to give him a chance to prove himself next season. If he was healthy maybe he would be one of Tua Tagovailoa's sharp weapons, counting on a large jump from long, at this point, probably wouldn't be wise, but there's no reason why he couldn't be the team's second option on the depth chart. Miami Dolphins legendary linebacker Zach Thomas recently became a Hall of Famer after many years of waiting. Thomas is already a beloved member of the team's history, but he recently revealed a story that will likely endear him to the team's passionate fans even more. Thomas said that he was offered an opportunity to join the New England Patriots, but declined the chance because he loved the Dolphins too much. He offered me, Thomas said when looking back at when Bill Belichick offered him a spot on the Patriots roster. And I said, let me think about it, and I slept on it and woke up that next morning and said, hell nah man. I can't let down the fans. They got my back. The 49-year-old got choked up while trying to get through the end of the story. It's a great reminder of just how passionate players often are about the game of football and the fans that love them. When asked if he regretted his decision not to join the New England Patriots, we received the answer. I have no regrets even though at the time the Patriots were Super Bowl contenders. But my love for Dolphins is too great and the fans love me too, I can't let my fans and teammates down. Although Belichick's offer was tempting, he would never join the, the New England Patriots. Zach said. Though Thomas played one season with the Dallas Cowboys, he will forever be remembered as a Dolphins star. He played 12 seasons in Miami and finished with 1,640 combined tackles, 19.5 sacks, 16 forced fumbles, 17 interceptions and 4 touchdowns in his Dolphins career. At 5 foot 11, he was not the prototypical linebacker, but he used his agility, speed and incredibly high football IQ to disrupt opposing offenses for over a decade, despite his incredible resume. It did take some time for Thomas to finally enjoy the honor of being elected to the Hall of Fame. He had been named a finalist for four straight years prior to finally being elected in 2023. He now joins the likes of Larry Kasanka, Dan Marino, Jason Taylor and many more players who called Miami home and went on to join the Hall of Fame. From his story alone, and the fact that he had to hold back tears when recounting it, it's clear that the moment means a lot to Thomas. Though Thomas decided to retire in 2010, Many Dolphins fans surely still have some incredible memories of his playing. Days in South Florida This story is likely to make those memories that much sweeter. Congratulations Zach Thomas and congratulations to your family as well.